Hi there, welcome to Box Pride. Uh, thanks for tuning in. First of all, I'd just like to say I hope that uh, you guys have had a really good Christmas um, and that you have a very good uh, new New Year celebration. And um, I just hope you've had a really relaxing time off of work or whatever it may be. And once again, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for viewing my channel and um, you know making it what it what it is. I will try to do uh, an end of year video in the next few days for you guys. Um, but first of all, um, here I'm just making this video because I like to address some fights that are happening this weekend. And uh, these particular fights are um, three ten round fights that are happening on Friday. Um, and these are some interesting bouts. Uh, the first one I'd like to address is the fight between Andre Durrell and Daryl Cunningham. Uh, both of these guys are around a similar neck of the woods uh, in Michigan. And um, I think that Andre Durrell is going to win this fight. Uh, and I think he's going to get a points decision over 10 rounds. Uh, now, basically I think the keys to this fight are going to be um, Andre Durrell's speed is going to be too much. Uh, add to that the fact that uh, I think Daryl Cunningham is around 37 years of age. He's ageing. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to uh, keep up with Andre Durrell. Um, Andre Durrell obviously was in the Super 6 tournament. He still only officially lost one fight and that was against Carl Froch. Uh, many many people actually dispute that decision. Um, a lot of guys, people thought that uh, Durrell beat uh, Carl Froch. He's a um, very tricky fighter, very slick fighter, um, Andre Durrell. He's quick, he's rather elusive, he's a mover. Um, you know, so he's he's hard to catch hold of, he can frustrate his opponents. And I think he frustrated uh, Carl Froch in their fight. He frustrated Arthur Abraham in his following fight then. Uh, as was clear, he was going into the final rounds and, um, you know, he was winning the fight. Abraham was frustrated and got disqualified for hitting Andre Durrell while he was down uh, sort of on on taking a knee or, or he'd slipped um, and then Abraham came through with a punch while, while Durrell was down um, you know so so Andre Durrell is still you know one of the guys up there uh, when he gets back fighting you would you would think it would be good to see him face you know the eventual winner of the Super 6 tournament who was Andre Ward um, these two guys were supposed to meet, but uh, Durrell pulled out of the tournament through, through uh, you know, injury, uh, medical problems, and you know, it will be you know, interesting to see now. I hope Andre Durrell gets back on track, and I hope that he comes back, and you know, we can add another person back into the mix for this already you know talent-rich division, um, and he can start having big fights again. But this is a sort of natural comeback matchup, really. I mean, a guy from around the same area. Um, Darrell Cunningham's only lost two fights, so he's you know a respectable opponent. Uh, and uh, you know, I think I just think that it's it's a safe, not not completely safe fight, but it's safe enough that you know you expect Andre Durrell to win uh, comfortably, and I'm expecting a very comfortable points decision. Um, obviously, Durrell's had a layoff. Um, so we, we we're always wondering how is he going to look when he comes back. But I think that uh, he'll come back sharp. And uh, I think also Cunningham has only uh, I think he's only ever gone. He he's not gone past ten rounds before. Um, he's not that experienced going late into fights. Um, and I think that it could be trouble for him late in this fight. Um, from the seventh round onwards, he's really might struggle. Um, but overall, yeah, I'm expecting a comfortable points victory for Andre Durrell in this fight, and uh, a good comeback match for him. Another comeback match sees another guy who had to uh, who pulled out of the Super Six, um, although he was um, probably going to leave it anyway. Uh, Jermaine Taylor goes up against Je uh, Jesse Nicklow. Um, now, Nicklow is also a decent fighter, um, and this is also another ten, another ten rounder. Um, I'm expecting again Jermaine Taylor to win uh, a decision victory. I think that Nicklow, 
um, can start off rather well, but he sh tends to struggle against guys who um, are better technical fighters. Um, so when he comes up against a technician, um, he fought against Guerrero. Uh, he's he tends to be starts become to become a brawler. He can he can be frustrated. I think you can pull him out of uh, any game plan, and I think that's what Taylor needs to look to do here to keep it tight, to keep it. Um, Te to just to keep his technique fundamentals there, and I think he can draw Nick L Nicklo out and start you know counter punching him, start uh, racking up those points. Um, I think Nicklo's lost twice, but he's drawn like three times, and this tells me you know this guy does struggle when it comes to uh, better technical fighters, even if he's quicker than them, even if he has a um, better phys physical advantage. He tends to uh, lose his lose the plot a little bit, and he gets a bit wild, and he he starts to to lose the lose his uh, cool, and I think that um, Jermaine Taylor is going to uh, take advantage of this with his superior technical uh, ability. And then again, you know, how does uh, how does Jermaine Taylor look after this uh, layoff that he's had? He obviously got knocked out late in. Uh, the fights against Carl Froch and Arthur Abraham in his last two fights. Um, you know, so Nicklo's not the biggest puncher anyway. Um, he hasn't got a very good uh, KO ratio, uh, percentage. But uh, he could cause Jermaine Taylor some problems here, depending on how, how Jermaine looks when he comes back now. But I'm expecting Taylor to do the job, and I'm expecting him to get it done. I think he'll, uh, he'll win uh, a points victory probably unanimous and then uh, there's a heavyweight prospect who's fighting uh, the unbeaten Mike Perez he's a Cuban fighting out of Ireland at the moment he's a guy you should be looking out for um, he is going up against Friday uh, Ahunanya um, I believe he's a Nigerian guy um, a very tough guy he's lost eight times he's only been stopped once in those eight times um, and for me, this is a good test for for Perez because Perez is going, I think, ten rounds for the first time. Um, I think he's only been eight maximum before, and um, you know Perez has got a seventy percent knockout ratio, around seventy percent. He's got a lot of power there. He's a he's a good fighter. What I'm looking for in this one: can Perez stop this guy? Can Perez prove a point here? Um, and I think he. Sh I'm not looking for Perez to come out all guns blazing trying to get this guy out there early. I think Perez needs to uh, stick to the fundamentals. I'm looking for him to outbox this guy, wear him down, and then take him later on. And I think if Perez does that, it'll be rather impressive. And I think he will do it. I think that Perez is going to stop this guy. I'm probably going to go for a late stoppage here. Um, and but again, you know, how does Mike Perez look over the, a slightly longer distance? Um, <coughs> Uh, he's had a bit of a longer longer uh, time off than I would expect for a guy at his stage of his career, but um, you know they're managing him rather well. He looks good, and we all saw him in the prize fighter that he won. Um, he looked impressive. Um, he has he, he's fought Zach Page twice, not been able to stop him, but no one really does. Um, I think he's gonna try. And, he's gonna prove a point here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna back this guy, uh, Mike Perez. Um, Ahunanya has only got around 37% knockout ratio. I'm not too concerned for Perez, although this is a heavyweight fight, so obviously he has to be careful. But I'm expecting Perez to win either way, um, and I'm looking for him to be impressive in this one. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there. I think Perez gets a late stoppage. Um, and there are three fights I'd like. Uh, you know, I thought I'd bring your guys' attention to. To um, I think there's fighters you should check out. Obviously, got the two big comebacks. In the super middleweights uh, with Andre Durrell and Jermaine Taylor, two uh, guys who have fought at the top level before, uh, just coming on comeback fights against you know two pretty decent opponents. Um, not walkovers by any means, in my opinion. Uh, depends how those two guys look, and uh, the pros the prospect uh, Mike Perez, who uh, I thought I think it's good for you guys to keep keep an eye out for. So once again, thanks for watching. Um, uh, th thanks for watching as always. Please give me uh, your guys' thoughts. Looking forward to these fights on Friday. This is Boxbread, and I'm out.